Hello, a question came up regarding creating a slideshow presentation of images and text with narration. And um, at this point, I would recommend, since uh, you're probably using a uh, Mac laptop, that you use Keynote. Keynote allows you to create a slideshow presentation, very similar to PowerPoint if, if you haven't really used Keynote, but I'm assuming you have. And then on each individual slide, you can add your narration. Um, and then once that uh, recorded narration is complete, you can then go ahead and export from the file menu that slideshow as a video file, as a movie. Um, you just want to make sure that the delays, uh, and I'll show that to you when you export, um, are not extremely long because the uh, slide will show for as long as your recording is, but also will include any other time, you know, seconds that you have that particular slide to stay up on the screen. So Keynote, it's very easy. Um, we're going to go in here. I got a slide here. I created another slide. I'm going to delete this particular video or audio. So to add audio to this particular slide, you just go up to insert and down to record audio. You'll get a little recorder icon there with the red button, hit record. It's beginning to record my voice now. When you're done recording your audio, hit stop and then insert and it creates a little icon with a speaker. You can move that any place you want. That will not show up when you create the video. But if you were going to send this slideshow to somebody um, as a slide, as a keynote slideshow, then anytime they played the presentation, they could click this particular icon and the audio would play for them. But in this instance, we're not going to use it for that. So once your particular slideshow is complete, you've got all your slides created, you've added all your narration, you can then go up to File and then down to Export. And you're going to export to a movie. And here's where I was talking about those seconds. So right now you see it says go to next slide after five seconds. Let's change that and make that uh, maybe after one second. And then we're going to also change the resolution. Video files are uh, normally very large, so any kind of video is going to use up a lot of storage, a lot of your hard drive space. And if you make, you know, a half dozen of these videos, there's a good chance you, you could run out of hard drive space and your computer will then run very sluggish. So we're going to reduce this uh, resolution down to 720p. That's the smallest that you can create from Keynote and uh, that'll create a smaller video file so it won't use as much hard drive space. And the next thing uh, we're going to click next and give it a name. And the other thing that you want to do is um, once you've created this video, I've just saved it to the desktop. It's creating it. Uh, you want to save this into your, uh, actually, you want to load this video file into YouTube. And then once you've done that, you're going to want to save the actual video file to your Google Drive rather than keeping it on your computer, unless you're going to use it, you know, real, real soon after you've created it or something. But it's best to back it up into your Google Drive so that it's not using up your hard drive space. And that way you can create more videos if you want and have room for other files. So once we've done that, we're going to log into YouTube and just use your district account. And you're going to go ahead and uh, click on, I'm going to go back to home here. You're going to click this little button that says create and you're going to select uh, upload a video. Sometimes it says something other than create, I think. I'm going to go ahead and upload a video. You're going to select a file. You're going to select that video file that's on your desktop. And there it is right there. I'm not going to do it because I already have just to save some time. And then once you've done that, you'll go through and fill out a name for the video. You'll mark it, um, and I'll show that to you. You'll mark it uh, for, um, you can put a description, whether or not it's for students or not, or kids or not. In, in this instance, if this was a science uh, slideshow or movie for kids. I'd mark it for kids. Um, I can put some tags in there if I want. And then over here, I'm going to mark it as unlisted. So it's available on YouTube, but nobody can search for it. Nobody can, you know, it's not going to come up in anybody's YouTube dashboard. It's unlisted. So once you've done that, you click save or upload, and it will go ahead and save that particular video uh, that you just created from Keynote into YouTube. Once it's up there, you can copy the URL, the web address for that video. 
And then once you've got that information copied, you can go over to um, Power School Learning, or you can go to um, Google Classroom or Google Sites or even Seesaw, and you can add that video, that YouTube video by link. And that's what I've done here. So if you come in and look, I can edit this. You'll see that uh, all I've done is uh, added a YouTube video to my PowerSchool Learning page. Uh, PowerSchool is very slow right now. And so there's that link right there. If I had another video I wanted to add to this particular page, I would go Add Content, select YouTube, and then paste the YouTube web address into the resulting window that should appear here in a minute. So right there, I paste that YouTube address in there. I'm going to embed it so that it shows up on the page. Pop-up just means it shows up in its own little window. I would click Next, and then that would uh, eventually show up there on my PowerSchool learning page. <clears throat> or if I was doing this in Google Classroom, it would show up in Google Classroom. Or if I did this in Seesaw, I could create a link in Seesaw or import this video into Seesaw so that it would appear in, in my Seesaw uh, interface. So the nice thing about this uh, is that when you import a YouTube video into PowerSchool Learning or Google Sites or Google Classroom, all the other advertisements and all the little thumbnail movies that usually show up when you're looking at YouTube's uh, are looking at videos on the YouTube site they don't appear here so all those distractions are gone it's a great way to share YouTube videos so that's what I would do if you're creating a uh, slideshow presentation then you want to have narration that goes with it then you're going to want to um, use Keynote there are other tools out there, but right now I think that's going to be the easiest one um, for you to use. It's pretty straightforward. Um, you've got some nice transitions between slides that you want to, if you want to include. That actually gets imported into your, your finished um, video that you create in Keynote. So I hope that helps.